The animation opens in a forest, showing us a bird's egg rolling out of its nest in the absence of its parents. The egg is obviously matured and ready to hatch, as it tumbles across the forest ground as it gradually hatches. The baby bird finally breaks out of his shell and looks around for his mother. He does not see anyone around but is later met by a ladybug with whom he forms a bond. Time passes by and the little bird grows into a young yellowbird who has just a ladybug and a few bunnies as friends. The yellowbird hasn't explored his environment as much as he ought to as a result of his fear of the unknown. And despite the encouragement from his friends, he is still reluctant to fly around the forest or even carry out any adventure. Across the forest, in the territory of some bluebirds, a young female bluebird named Delf runs a kindergarten. While with her pupils, she notices a leaf fall, and she takes it to her father, Darius, who is the leader of their group. Darius, her father, confirms that autumn has almost arrived, signifying their migration journey to Africa. The little birds are pleased to hear this, but Darius is worried about the possible presence of the iron birds along the way. However, Delph does her best to diminish her father's fears as they watch as other birds commence their migration. The yellowbird, on the other hand, has no idea that he is meant to migrate just like other birds do. Instead, he stays playing with Ladybug. During their games, Ladybug purposely throws the acorn which they are using to play, outside the building and far into the forest. She does this to find a way to make Yellowbird go out into the wild for once in his life. At first, the bird is reluctant to go out into the forest. But after a bit of drama by Ladybug, he agrees and heads out terrified. Darius, while still mapping out secure plans for migration, sights an airplane, which the birds refer to as the Iron Bird, and decides to know the route it takes. The birds are scared of airplanes as they think that it is dangerous to their migration journey. While tracking the plane, Darius gets attacked by some wild cats, and he gets injured in the process. One of his wings gets broken, and he is unable to fly so he tries his best to run away to safety. The cats are close on his trail, but he luckily evades them and painfully drags himself into an abandoned church building. He then lies on the ground and weakly calls out for help. It is at this same time that Yellowbird fearfully walks about the thickets in the forest, searching for the lost acorn. He hears Darius call for help and initially takes to his heels but stops running when he notices the pain in his voice. Scared, Yellowbird goes into the building to meet Darius where he lays injured on the ground. He tries to lift the big bird, but his efforts are futile as he isn't strong enough. A weak and weary Darius, knowing that he wouldn't make it, spells out instructions to the Yellowbird to deliver to his family. He tells the little bird to find his nephew, Carl, and instructs him to lead the migration of the birds to a different route to avoid the iron birds. Unknown to the Yellowbird, Ladybug, who has been following him from afar, also overhears what Darius says. Some moments later, Delph and the rest of the family who have been searching for Darius finally find him inside the building. She is instructed by her father to listen to what the yellowbird has to say, after which he gives up the ghost. The entire flock of birds is heartbroken by Darius's sudden passing and also confused about what to do next. They see the yellowbird lurking around the corner and go to meet him, asking for information surrounding Darius's death. The yellowbird starts telling them what Darius told him, but is interrupted by Ladybug, who tells him to lead the birds instead of Carl. Yellowbird is initially scared of doing this, but after being convinced, decides to keep the new migration route to himself. Carl, who ought to be next in command after Darius, doesn't accept this idea, but Delph accepts it since her father asked her to listen to the yellowbird. They are attacked by the wildcats, but they all escape, with the yellowbird saving one of the little birds named Fleck. The bluebirds finally agree to let the yellowbird lead them through the new route provided by Darius, with Carl, following angrily from behind. The migration begins with the yellowbird as a leader, taking them across several vegetation. It gets dark, and the birds begin looking for the next route, which, according to the yellowbird, Darius mentioned, is a river of fireflies. They finally find the route and decide to rest their wings for the night at a place that is predicted to be in the south of France. Here. Yellowbird encounters a rough experience while trying to get food and his initial fear of the outside world returns. He speaks with Delph and mentions that he would like to hand over leadership to Carl and return to the forest. Delph does her best to encourage him, saying that he is the best person for the job if indeed her father gave him the directions. Yellowbird still doesn't reveal that Darius did not leave him in charge of the birds as he claims, but Carl. 
he gathers courage and gathers the birds, so they continue on their journey before sunrise. When the sun comes out, they see several flocks of birds flying in the opposite direction, and this gets the birds, especially Carl, more suspicious. Yellowbird excuses himself from the flock to ask the other birds for directions, but none pay him any attention. He realizes that he has led the birds in the wrong direction and tries to use his instincts to find a new route, but he gets nothing. Carl catches Yellowbird in his confused state and confirms that he truly doesn't know anything about migrating. He begins telling him to confess to the birds about misleading them, but they are interrupted by an announcement by one of the little birds. The flock has arrived at a sea, which they believe is the Mediterranean Sea. According to Delph, it is the sea that they would have to cross before getting to Africa. The birds, however, do not know that they aren't in the Mediterranean Sea but on the coast of Holland. Carl, on the other hand, suspects that the sea is the wrong one and that they have lost their way. The flock decides to rest at a tree to gather enough strength to go over the sea. They meet a dubious owl who conceals the truth about their location for his profit from accommodating them. Carl later confirms his suspicions about their location and raises an alarm. He gets into a fight with Yellowbird and tells the rest of the flock that they aren't where they think they are. He tells them that they are on the coast of Holland, but none of the birds believe him. Instead, they think that he's jealous that the yellow bird took his role. His father takes him away to cool off high up in the clouds. Yellowbird, although sad about the experience, still holds back the truth from the birds. Delph, however, pacifies him about his earlier experience with Carl. She makes him promise her that he would help the flock get across to Africa, after which he would be free to go. After their conversation, he flies off to the beach while Delph goes with Willy to tell the little birds a nighttime story and put them to bed. At the beach, Yellowbird meets two seals and confirms that they are nowhere close to Africa. Carl, his dad, and Max almost get hit by an airplane while they are soaring in the clouds, and they fly away out of fear. Meanwhile, Yellowbird saves Fleck again from having a fatal accident at the beach, after which he attempts to tell Delph the truth but ends up not doing it. Frustrated at himself for not being able to reveal the truth, he retreats to his room to rest for the night. The next morning, the birds are attacked by hunters who arrived in the forest, shooting with their guns. The yellowbird tells the birds to fly away, while he stays back to distract the hunter. He dodges several bullets from the hunter's gun and finally knocks him out with a tree branch. Afterward, he goes to stop the birds from moving any further in the wrong direction. He soon catches up with them and tells them that they are at the wrong sea, instructing them to turn back but it is too late for them to turn back because a storm has already started ahead of them and turning back would be risky. So, the flock of birds flies into the storm, trying with their light not to get carried away. The little ones gradually become cold and weary from the storm, and the adults are concerned for their safety. Carl's dad sights an abandoned ship across the sea, and they all fly towards it to get shelter from the rain. Inside the ship, Carl lashes out again at Yellowbird, blaming him for their current situation. Delph comes to his defense as usual, after which the male birds split up to go find food for the little ones. After searching for a while, they come out with nothing and realize that the storm is affecting the ship. They stand confused about what to do about the sinking ship. They finally decide to fly out again into the storm, but Carl falls into the ship and gets tangled in a wire. Yellowbird, Willie, and Fleck fly down to rescue him, after which they bring him out of the ship. As they are about to fly into the storm, the birds notice a group of birds, which used to live in the ship, stuck as it sinks. So, the yellow bird goes towards the vessel to rescue the birds, helping them into a boat that takes them away. The other birds fly out of the storm to continue on their journey, happy that they survived the strong weather. However, their happiness is cut short by a gush of cold wind which spirals them away. The wind takes them off course and lands them on the North Pole, where they are surrounded by snow. The birds are unable to fly away and all freeze from the cold, standing in a spot. It is at this moment that Yellowbird tells the truth to Delph and the rest of the birds. He reveals that Darius actually wanted Carl to lead the flock, but he took over because he wanted to be a part of them. This revelation from the Yellowbird shocks everyone, especially Delph who feels betrayed. Disappointed in himself, the Yellowbird sadly moves away from the freezing flock as he journeys amidst the snow. Along the way, he sheds tears of sadness and falls unconscious. After a while, his instincts, which are in the form of his ladybug friend, wake him up and direct him to a sound. He heads towards the sound, and what he sees brings a rescue idea to his mind. 
He heads back to where the birds lay, warming one another, and directs them to what he discovered. Yellowbird has discovered a tarmac of cargo planes and suggests that they travel through the one going to Africa. The birds are bewildered by his suggestion and rebuke him for even proposing it. They all have a massive fear of airplanes, which they refer to as iron birds. Carl tells the birds not to listen to the yellowbird as he has lied to them before, but the bird stands his ground and insists on using the planes. They all reluctantly agree with Yellowbird's plan, as they have no other choice. So, they pick a plane that looks like it has Africa as its destination and quickly sneak inside while the workers are not looking. While inside, they notice that Carl isn't with them and see him outside the plane, refusing to join them in what he considers a suicide attempt. So, the Yellowbird sticks him in a pipe and rolls him into the plane. However, he gets stuck outside the exact moment the plane's doors begin to close. He tells them to go on without him, but Carl flies out of the plane, picks him up, and successfully brings him back into the plane. Their flight begins, with them all hoping for a better fate than they imagined. The journey goes on for hours, and they finally hear the plane land. The doors gradually open, and they all hold their breath, waiting for the reveal of their location. When the door completely opens, they are met with a beautiful view of African vegetation, and they are excited. They happily fly out and see other migrants who have arrived in Africa like them. Now that the birds are at their location, Yellowbird sadly turns away to find his way back, but the birds stop him. They tell him to stay with them, welcoming him as a member of their family and giving him a new name, called Sam. They all live together, spending the season happily as they wait to migrate back. This is where the movie ends. Thanks for watching. See you soon with a new movie recap video. Till then, stay happy and chill out.